booktube a thon, read a thon, what? Please excuse the situation that is my face and appearance because I just got off work and it was a day and I just have no desire whatsoever to actually get all dolled up and look good, so deal with this. I'm sorry. I was gonna say, alright guys, but this is the beginning of the video, so what am I doing? <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my booktube-a-thon TBR. I work all week next week, which means I probably will get 0% reading done, except for on the weekends, because basically I come home, I'm exhausted, and I basically just go to sleep and don't read anything. So, this is a very optimistic TBR, but we're gonna see if we can do it. Probably not. This readathon was created by Ariel Bassett, so I'll leave her channel down below, as well as the booktube-a-thon channel. If you guys want to go subscribe to that, I'm pretty sure they have a Twitter as well. I'll leave that down below if you want to join because, you know, who doesn't love readathons? There's a number of reading challenges. Honestly, I'm not going to get to them all. I picked five books for myself, which is very... Um, I forget the word for it, but like higher than my expectations. What is the word for that? Let me know down below what the word is because your girl is brain dead right now. But without further ado, here are my five books so let us get started the first challenge is to read a book with a person on the cover i chose mechanica by betsy cornwell and i actually am supposed to finish this book and the sequel adventurous by august 1st so like i actually really do need to read this book and the sequel they both have people on the covers so we're counting it as people on the covers but this book is basically a Cinderella retelling, but the main character, Nicolette, is a mechanic, and it has aspects from Cinderella. I'm almost done it. I'm not almost done it. I'm 94 pages in. So hopefully I can finish this before booktube the thon stars, and then I'll read the sequel, Venturous, instead. The next book is to read a hyped book, which I am so excited about this book. Because I found it at my thrift store for only $4.99, but they gave it to me for $2.99 because the girl messed up and like I wasn't going to say anything and be like, no girl. It's $4.99. I was like, heck yeah, it's $2.99. You put that into the machine. But it is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter, and this is the first book in The Raven Cycle. And everybody and their mother loves this book. I mean, it's a little bit beat up, but your girl, your girl's okay with that because it was only $2.99. And everybody raves about how amazing this book is, so it's about time that I read it. The next book, I'm kind of like using it as a two challenge thing. Hopefully, I can actually do this. Probably won't happen unless it's on a weekend. But, but it is to read a book completely outside and to read a book in one day. So my plan is to spend all Sunday outside reading. Will it happen? Probably not. But the book is The Battle Mage by Taran Mathuru. This is the third book in the Summoner trilogy. And it follows Fletcher, who is a demon summoner, and I love the two first books. I have a review of them if you want to check it out, but I'm pretty sure I gave both of them five out of five stars, or at least four and a half out of five stars. I love them. And I got sent this by the publisher, and your girl freaked out. I don't think I've uploaded that video yet, but I freaked out, and it was a grand old time, so I'm very excited to finally get to this one. The next challenge is to read a book with a character that's very different from you, so I am choosing Queens of Geeks by Jen Wild. I think her name is. Honestly, I don't know because I don't have a physical copy, so I'm going to put the little picture here and hopefully it is Jen Wild because your girl forgets. I'm supposed to read this book for my book club that I host with Dylan. Which I have done a terrible job with. I'm so sorry, Dylan, but your girl has just been in a slump and not reading, so hopefully the readathon will get me out of it. We'll see. We have a Goodreads group, so if you want to check that out, I'll also leave that link down below. We also have a Twitter, so I'll leave that down below, and I'll leave Dylan's link down below because why not? He's pretty cool. Subscribe to him. This book features a character with autism, which I don't have, so they are very different from me, so I'm very excited about this. There's also a character that's LGBTQA+. I think they're bisexual. Honestly, I haven't read it, so I don't know. Don't hold me accountable to that knowledge, because I could be very wrong, but I'm pretty sure. But I don't actually know 100%, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Then the next challenge is to read a book that you bought because of the cover. I'm going to try to read Hungry by H.A. Swain. I bought this originally because I thought that it was an eating disorder book. It's not. It's about a future where food isn't real, like it's not a thing. There's a company that creates these pills that causes hunger not to exist, but then the pills become ineffective and people begin to feel hunger again. And it's kind of that story and like the rebellion against that. So I'm kind of interested to see what this is about. Because I totally thought it was a mental illness eating sort of thing. But, you know, still sounds cool. And then the final challenge is to read seven books, which your girl ain't gonna do. 
I'm doubting it. Because it's been taking me like two weeks to read one book lately. So, yeah, it's not happening. Alright guys, so that was my booktubeathon TBR. Let me know down below if you guys are participating and what you're planning on reading. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye!